The president has ordered the Justice Department to craft new contracts with Manila Water and Mainilad after the DOJ found onerous provisions in the contracts they signed in 1997. But the lawmaker is suggesting, why not scrap the agreement altogether? For House Deputy Majority Leader Bernadette Herrera, the two firms have already violated provisions of the deal when it asked consumers to pay for projects like the Wawa Dam and some sewage treatment facilities that have yet to start. Add to that, Herrera claims, advertising costs are passed on to consumers. That is the number one violation. Nag-advance collection sila sa atin. Sinasabi nila hindi ito advanced collection. She says the two firms should be considered public utility companies and undergo government audit. As per Maynila, it's up to the MWSS regulatory office to decide on whether or not expenditures by the concessionaires can be passed on to consumers through the water rates. They also decide which can be charged and which cannot be charged to the customers. So there's definitely no economic sabotage as alleged by some people in government? Uh, from our point of view, we have been doing our jobs, we have been contributing to nation building. Amid calls to cancel the agreement, the group Bagong Alianza Makabayan says it's about time the government take back control of water resources from the concessionaires. Sa tingin namin kasi, hanggat ang prevailing policy ay privatization at hanggat ang kausap mo ay mga uh, kumpanya na ang operations ay para kumita, you know, private uh, profits, kahit ano pang kontrata yan, mag magkakahirapan tayo. As ordered by Singapore's Permanent Court of Arbitration, the government has to pay Maynilad and Manila Water over 10 billion pesos for non-implementation of rate hikes. The DOJ says they will not receive a centavo. In effect, you are depriving the government to exercise its police power to regulate the charging of fees for uh, services that may impact on the public. The DOJ, through its review, earlier questioned the lack of government's police powers under the agreement and the extension of the contracts in 2007 when the original deal expires in 2022. The DOJ has formed an 18-man team to help draft the new deal. They are also investigating the people behind the crafting of the original contracts. Shaila Francisco, We Are One News.